Hello and welcome to another race spec track guide. This time we're at the Bahrain International Circuit. A really tricky track to nail the perfect lap on. So hopefully this video is helpful and gives you some information that uh, helps you maximize your lap time around Bahrain. So we start our lap here and we're heading down to turn one. The breaking point for turn one is just before the 100 meter mark, right about here. So we're gonna be downshifting all the way into first, a very late uh, first gear downshift at the apex for maximum turn in. And then almost immediately short shifting back up to second and then third gear. And then turn two, you wanna take as much of the apex as you can without cutting the corner. Same with turn three, a lot of curve there. Heading down to turn four, using all the track on the right, left hand side. Now a breaking point for turn four is 100 meter, 100 meter board just in front of us there. Late third gear downshift, short shift to fourth, over this curve. Now we're heading into to, uh, sector two, um, which has um, the downhill corners of turn eight and 10. So usually here, I would be changing my brake bias um, down from about 55, which I use most of the lap to about 51. So heading over the curve of turn five, um, as soon as you clear the curves, a little tap on the brakes and downshift in fifth gear. Turn six and seven um, can be flat if you, choose a good line through there, but you want to avoid the exit curve of turn seven on the right hand side there. It's got a nasty bump and uh, can throw you into the barrier. So heading downhill into turn eight. So the braking point here is very tricky. I usually aim for the corner of the uh, blue run out, runoff area and then brake just as the barrier um, turns black on the left hand side or the black barrier on the right hand side finishes. So right here and then turn in once you get to um, the ripple strip late first gear downshift short shifting a second third avoiding the exit curve turn eight and our turn nine and ten the notorious downhill section so i position my car for turn nine right over the curb here and what that does is open up um, the angle as much as possible for the downhill braking zone um, and allows you to brake in a, in a more straight line so um, the braking point here is just after the drs detection line right about here. Uh, you've also got a DH DHL sign in front of you. Um, so use either, either of those as the breaking point. Another first gear, late apex downshift, short shifting second, third, fourth, open up DRS. Now, right about here, I'll be changing my brake bias back up to what you were using um, before, um, after that downhill section. So uh, if you're using 54, 55, 56, whatever it was, um, change it back, um, heading to turn 11, using a lot of the track there, breaking point is just um, this blue, dark blue patch here for turn 11, use a lot of the apex curve, don't run too wide on exit, now setting up a turn 12, I use a lot of the track here on corner entry, uh, it's a flat corner but don't take any of that curve, now turn 13 is very tricky um, to pick a breaking point, so there's a left on the left, there's a black box on the barrier or on the right, you can see when the bar where the barrier ends, that turns orange. You can use either of those as breaking point. Late third gear downshift, short shift to fourth. Now we're on the power, coming down the straight to the final corner. We're gonna use a lot of the track on the left-hand side and break a 100 meter board right here where the um, curb starts as well. Another late third gear downshift, avoid the apex and avoid the exit curve turn 14 as well, open up DRS and come across the line and that's been a lap of the Bahrain International Circuit, hope that helps you out.